Fordham University mourns the loss of one of its finest sporting alumni this week. Johnny Bach passes away at the age of 91 years old. A member of the United States Navy in the late 1940s, a member of the Fordham class of 1948. He spent 18 years as the head coach at Fordham University. He's the winningest coach in Fordham program history. His final eight years at Fordham were marked by his tenure as athletic director, a position that was previously held by Jack Coffey, the famed baseball coach and AD who was instrumental in his coming to Fordham. Fordham mourns his loss, as does the National Basketball Association, coaches over the years being mentored by Johnny Bach. Phil Jackson, the current president of the New York Knicks, points to him as one of the architects of the defense that led the Michael Jordan Bulls to a three-peat in the 1990s. Also, Doug Collins points to him as a mentor, not only on the 1972 Olympic team, but as a head coach later on in his career. P.J. Carlissimo, a Fordham alumnus, also counts him as one of his confidants. Over the years, all three of those coaches have been honored with the Johnny Bach Award given out annually at the Fordham Men's Basketball Tip-Off Dinner. Also, Patrick Ewing was honored in 2012, the final time that Johnny Bach attended the award ceremony. We look back on some of the finer moments from PJ, from Doug, and from Phil over the years at the Fordham Men's Basketball Tip-Off Dinner, remembering one of the finest coaches finest men that Fordham University has produced, Johnny Bach. And is still the all-time winningest coach in Fordham University basketball history. A member of the great class of 1948, Johnny Bach is truly a man of Fordham. The Johnny Bach Award is presented annually to an individual whose life has had a substantial and lasting impact on the sport of basketball and who best emulates Mr. Bach's drive and passion for excellence. He was a character, and um, I came to New York with the New York Knicks the last season he coached here at Fordham in 66, 67, 67, 68, and he moved on to Penn State, and I picked him up then as an NBA coach later on in Golden State while he was uh, there as an assistant and as a coach of the Golden State Warriors, and then we became colleagues together with the Chicago Bulls for seven years. Johnny was one of the kind. He was a twin. His brother was lost in the service. Uh, his airplane uh, as a Navy flyer was lost at sea in the Pacific. And Johnny was a ensign, a gunnery ensign. Um, he was proud of his Navy uh, accomplishments. He actually picked up flying and uh, wore his brother's Navy uh, wings all the time on his wrist in a gold band. He was a, a penmanship person. He loved to draw. When we did reports together for our upcoming teams, Johnny always had interesting diagrams on every report, headed off with a gargoyle or something that was uh, bring a touch to the spirit. He was proud of being a, from Brooklyn. He was proud of being from New York. And he was proud of his enterprise in basketball. He, he loved the sport. But he was a man of all seasons. He had a great education here. He actually was awarded a Hall of Fame award at Brown, where he, he got his uh, OCS uh, Ensign degree, or his Ensign award there at Brown. And he was proud of his service for the country. Uh, Johnny was involved in a landing party in Japan. He told me the admirals told him to bring back samurai swords and obi belts, or sashes. So. He was part of the landing party that went in and, and had a, a great uh, story about his uh, war effort and uh, being on a, uh, the ship that fired um, 27 howitzer rounds every two minutes for 24 straight hours when they took o o Okinawa. So he had a, a history uh, that involved service, warriorship, and he brought that to the game of basketball. The, um, one of the things that uh, Johnny asked me to do, uh, or actually taught me to do when I assumed the uh, head coaching job at the uh, Bulls organization, was something that uh, Vince Lombardi taught the freshman basketball team here at Fordham. And I used it every season with my basketball team. 
Now, Lombardi lined them up on the baseline in one long line. And he stood in front of them and he said, Fordham University and God has ordained me to coach you guys. And I want every one of you that is willing to be coached and accept my coaching to step across that line, if so be it. And, of course, you never had anybody that didn't want to be there. <laughs> but I used it because it was, a, it was an affirmation about being coached and being part of the team. And Johnny was a great team player. So I take this award with a uh, great amount of pride, happy to receive it. And my final thoughts about Johnny Bach is that when he talked, he always said there are two B's I learned in talking. Be short and be seated. So here I am. What an honor it is for me to be here tonight. I know how Fordham University feels about Johnny Bach, and I know how he feels about you. I guess one of the things that I feel very blessed about more than anything else is that uh, as a young man, I was understanding of what wisdom is all about and how important it is to have people with wisdom with you, especially when they're so well-versed in doing something that you're trying to do for the first time. And Johnny Bach is my mentor, and I'm very proud to say that. As uh, Dave was talking about, we were together in the Olympics in 1972 when we both got our collective hearts broken uh, in the infamous gold medal game. We were together in Chicago, in Washington, in Philadelphia, and, uh, excuse me, in Detroit. Uh, when I got the call about the award, um, I was thrilled. You know, a lot of things in life mean things, certain things to you, but uh, Johnny has been like a father to me. And a lot, uh, all that he's done in the game and what he has meant to the game of basketball I think he passed on to me. For people who don't know him, he's an incredible artist. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his paintings. He's an incredible calligrapher. Um, he is just such a, a man of so many wonderful talents. But the thing is, he's passionate and he's proud. And I think he got a lot of that here. And I had this big sign in Philadelphia, believe in your role, stay in your role, star in your role. Be a star in what you do. And, and every single night, those players on your team know what you're going to bring. Be that guy. And if you do that, if all you guys want to do that, I'm telling you, you're going to love the results. And you know what? I know one thing. Johnny Bach will be proud of you, too. Because that's what Johnny Bach was all about. Johnny Bach was a military guy. He was all about team. He was all about never being alone, always having your back. And Johnny Bach, in my darkest moments as a coach, I knew I could always go to him, and he would put his arm around me, and he would say, take a deep breath. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. Because he had wisdom. He had been through it. He knew, and I trusted him. And today, a big part of me being here is because of Johnny Bach. And because of that, as I stand here today, I want you to know this, how much this means to me. Yeah, I've had a lot of nice awards, but this man, I love him, and I will always love him. And let's keep him in our prayers. Let's pray for Johnny Bach. Fordham University will continue to honor the memory of Johnny Bach in coming years as they continue to hand out the Johnny Bach Award for excellence and contributions to the game of basketball. Fordham fans can point to the contributions of Johnny Bach right here in the Rose Hill Gym. Five NIT appearances while he was head coach. Two trips to the NCAA tournament. Today we remember one of the finest Fordham men Johnny Bach was 91 years old.